welcome to the Daylight Triple Four Nine. Today I have the Daylight Triple Four Nine, the Bachman Daylight Special uh, Starter Set. I guess it is. I don't know. I got this recently, and I thought I might as well unbox it on video. I guess. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Okay, so I have opened this before. Um, just to check, I haven't like pulled anything out or anything. Uh, so I'll cut back to when this is open. One hour later. And I am back. Uh, so this is the box. Let's put this the right way around. So, here it is. Um, I cut this off right. This all came taped on manual. Uh, you can see that. Okay, this is a manual. The manual. Uh, you don't care about that. I do. And then the other, so the other non trim thing you get in here. The power pack. Uh, I already have one of these, but uh, this is a different color. I think mine looks better, but whatever. Track. So this is 22. She's better than what I have right now. Right now I have 18, so I'm going to swap this out for so I can actually like run some of my cars I could run before because I was stupid and didn't check what the minimum curve rating was. Um, okay, Let's see. Next is ooh, these cables. So this one is the one that goes to the track. Uh, see the connectors there. And you plug it in here. It looks like a headphone jack. And here's the AC adapter. Great. Not gonna use it. Uh, Pull out the rest of the track here. Track. Shocking stuff. Track. I know. Crazy. Um, so you get you get a circle. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight straight pieces. So that would be very helpful. Complementing the four straight pieces I already have, plus some other random stuff I actually got for five dollars from a train store. <clears throat> but most of it's quoted, so. Okay, let's start with the engine. Um, this. This out. Here. It's beautiful. Oh, that's from... So, you can focus it better. You can tell this is the first time I've ever done this. It's not the, you know, most detailed thing ever, but if you compare this to my, with this, it's the only other engine I have, so it's going to be a far upgrade. Beautiful. Of course, this is my favorite train, which helps more. Uh, let's take out the, let's take this out. Okay. Put that uh, off over here. Um, next is the tender. It's a six-wheeled six-wheeled tender. Sorry for the poor lighting. Uh, so I don't know what I can do about it. Very light. It's a speaker in it, I think. I don't know what that is, but it's something. Um, yeah. This is likely the same chassis that they use for the sound version. This is probably what the sound is on the sound version, but obviously, I don't have a sound version, so. Stick that over here, too. 
And next, I'm going to open the baggage car. Here, here it is. It's beautiful. It's not quite, I mean, it's cheap, cheap, cheaper. I mean, if you compare it, for example, like, if you compare it to this, this, this is a ATSF Chieftain car I got for 50 bucks from an auction, not an auction, a, uh, uh, a train show. Uh, it's not the same quality, but from a distance, they look comparable enough. And like, it's a train, isn't it? So. Here is what I believe to be observation car. Sorry, the lighting's really bad, but. Oh, it's all washed out, but. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a dining car. Or not dining car, observation car. Very nice. Finally, the last one. It's a passenger car. Very nice. Now, I'm going to re retrofit my track, and I'll be back. One eternity later. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my currently kind of jank together setup. Um, you can see it. I'm go all the way back around. Um, set up with the new track, so the train should run on it. Um, power pack is here. Some of my cars I was testing it with. Um, I'm still using some of the old track because like I have to run it under, but um, I tried to get rid of it as much as I could. Uh, so let me get the train over here and let's put it on the rail. Okay, I'm back and here to put together the train. So let's go. Okay, I am back and I have railed the whole train and now I see if it works. So let's set the controller. It's moving. Uh oh. I've definitely done this before, I swear to God. Uh oh. Derail. What is this? I see if you're something. Okie dokie. This again. Is he back working? Ooh, the car's even going up. Pretty cool. I'm stepping over to the old sexy track I have. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
having it like this is all cool, but what if we could add a little bit of extra length? I know these aren't South and Pacific and all that, but uh, this is what I got. So I hope these work. Yeah, everyone's seeing this for the first time live on camera. I've not tried this out before. It very well may not work. The couplers are kind of short. But hey, you only live once, I guess. Now this one is less likely to work. I've had issues with it before. Like this one ran on the 18 inch um, trucks or 18 inch bends, but it couldn't connect to anything, the other one. So, okay. Now I'm just going to, I'm not professional, I swear to God. Actually, I'm not. I'm not making any money from these videos. Any of that. This is purely a hobby for me. Okay. Um, I'm very good at this, I swear. Uh, okay. Here you go, it's on. It's on. Now slide this over. There you go. And now, I think it's a tripod. See if it works. It goes around the corner. Uh oh. It's derailed. Okay. Let's go. Let me get to it. Yeah, that's it's real bogey. The issue with this, you can tell. Yeah, it's completely loose, so... Hope that helped. Uh, completely loose, so... If it works or not, it's completely up to it. Hope that worked. Let's try it again. I'm sorry, I have to do this all on camera, but you know, it's important to see the troubleshooting stuff that one takes when dealing with on the railroads. It uh, so that not everything is perfect. See, it's around bends more or less. Oh no, it's not flat bit. Yeah, this one's not great, but, uh, yeah. Let's shoot around. Oh, it's disconnected. Well, I'll be back once I can figure this out. Welcome back, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, I got it working. So, okay. Lower it down. And let's watch it go by.
Well, you may think what I think of it, and the answer is, it's pretty good. I mean, if you're looking for high-end, not really. Um, it's very much a starter set. A very cool starter set. I mean, compared to this. Let's see if you can focus on it. Mm. Compared to this, it is much better. I mean, it's much more interesting, but it's also more fun. I think it is three hundred dollars and three hundred a bit dollars, which for a HO starter set, not too bad. Because you can see the track and the and the transformer. Um, but uh, would I suggest buying it? Yes, if you're a starter. Yes, if you're looking for an actual day like they run around in your high end, you know, train layout. No. This is just isn't quite it, but um, if it, you're just looking, for, but like I like it. I mean, I'm not that advanced, obviously. I mean, this is my other locomotive, um, but if you're just looking for a locomotive, it, a cool one at that. My favorite. Um, I take it. I mean, it's excellent by all means as a starter set so hope you liked watching this review hopefully there will be many many more of these to come and I'll see you guys next time on Daylight 449 please like and subscribe thanks yes